Hello, and welcome to another version of Hawk's Scan Sentry Report. I am Hawk Arps, Vice President of Yon Arps Traders Toolbox, and this is the Scan Sentry Report for the week beginning Monday, May the 20th. Well, as we all know, the markets are just floating up, up, and away, and not a lot really has changed in the large scale of things. Still, it's a good opportunity to look at some charts, maybe identify some trading opportunities in some markets, see if there's somewhere where we can get in. Before looking at specific charts, I want to review this watch list that I've created using different ETFs relative to the SPY, which represents the S&P. And I've talked about this for the last couple of scan center reports. I compare all of the American indexes to the SPY to see which index is the strongest. I compare the sectors to the SPY to see which sector is the strongest. I compare other ETFs to the SPY to see if uh, money might be moving into other markets. And here you can see we have some regional ETFs relative to the SPY. And what I noticed this week is that when you look at the TTB triple trender and you look at these regional ETFs, every cell on the triple trender, or let's say the majority of the cells on the triple trender are red, which means that every market in the world is weak relative to the S&P right now. So as we're looking for trading opportunities in the American markets, it's good to know that right now the S&P 500 is perhaps the strongest market in the world. Let's take a quick look at the S&P 500 itself. As we all know, it has been on a rampage since November of last year. That's six months of pretty steady upward growth in the S&P 500. Uh, where we are right now, you can see all three trenders are still bullish. The Radar 3 trend strength is bullish. The Fear Greed Radar 1 indicator is still showing significantly more buying pressure than selling pressure. And although the f fast line of the Radar 2 price leader is below the slow line, it's still above the zero line. Uh, I don't see any indication on this daily chart that we're running out of steam yet. Now if we zoom down to a 50,000 share chart, we might have a better idea of uh, what to expect this particular week. And what we see is that we consolidated pretty nicely through the last several days of last week. Finally broke out of that on Friday. And everything is bullish. Uh, it's typical to see a pullback to this breakout level, so wouldn't be surprised to see a pullback uh, down here to about uh, 1660. But I don't see any significant indication that we're at a turning point in this market yet. Let's see if we can find any buying opportunities in this rising market. Here's one identified by the Scan Sentry Toolkit. It has shown a recent flag pattern develop as identified by our automatic flag tool. And we're looking for it to break above the high of the flag, which is right here at 1518. And if it breaks above that, then it will plot a target just as it did when it broke through this flag pattern. And the chances are that it will achieve that target. Now, I like this one because we also have all of the trenders looking bullish. The Radar 3 trend strength is bullish. I see a pullback 23 setting up right here. Uh, simultaneously, we got a trender pullback signal uh, one bar ago. So this looks like it might be a good opportunity to get in and ride this rising market to the upside. Another one that I'm looking at this week is Southwest Airlines, and it has also formed a flag pattern. You can see the flag pattern developed here. It broke out of that flag pattern uh, on the 30th of April, and the target here is 1478. Perhaps you can see the target drawn there. And we just got a pullback 23 on the last bar, so 
gives me some encouragement that we're going to complete that flag pattern perhaps this week. I'm looking for a buy in Southwest Airlines. How about we take a look at gold for a minute. As we know, this market has been in a steady downtrend for all of 2013 and the last part of 2012. The Radar 3 trend strength index crossed below zero in mid-December, although it, it showed weakness uh, in these pink bars here by mid-October. The triple trender is convincingly bearish and has been for quite a while. And of course we all know about the bottom dropping out of gold and of course we've seen this retracement since then. It's pulled back about halfway from the close of the bottom to the breakdown point. Several weeks ago we got this trend exhaustion 1, 2, 3 with trend exhaustion 1 and pullback 23. And since then the market has dropped once again it's testing the lowest close of this drop. You can see our support and resistance line identified that close. That lowest close is 1361.1 and we tested that on Friday. So we're currently sitting at a significant support level yet all of our trend identifiers, the Radar 3 bearish, Triple Trender bearish, Fear Greed Radar 1 bearish, the Price Leader is bearish. So although we are testing support, we may see some sideways movement. I think the path of least resistance in the long run until some of these things start turning the other direction is still going to be downward. Let's take a look at the, uh, the 4181 share chart and see what we might be looking at on a shorter term, i.e. what might happen early this week. Well, you can see that we did get another downward pullback 23. Uh, in the middle of the day on Friday and it coincided with uh, the beginning of this breakdown of a bear flag. A bear flag broke down uh, right there at the at the low. That was uh, right about 1357 and we have a flag target of 1343 which are if I remember correctly is about the lowest low of the breakdown. So I am seeing this downtrend continuing to at least 1343 throughout this week. You can see everything's pretty bearish. Fear Greed is bearish. Radar 3 is bearish. Triple Trender is bearish. So I'm looking for a continued move to the downside in gold with support around 1343. Taking a look at crude oil. Now this is an interesting market. You can see that over the last six months we have been making uh, lower highs and lower lows, but when we look a little more closely, it appears that the enthusiasm for the bearishness of this market seems to be waning. Uh, I say that for several reasons. One, note this pivot divergence that our divergence finder found here in mid-April, and I've, I've drawn it here on the Fear Greed indicator. We're seeing lower lows in the price and higher lows in the Radar 1 Fear Greed, meaning that there's less selling pressure at the lower prices. Well, this is a good indication that the sellers are running out of, the, out of steam, and we got a nice oversold trend exhaustion 1 signal right about the same time, and price has started rising. Currently, we see the triple trender has synchronized bullish, and the Radar 3 trend strength is now bullish. In fact, we have a nice little pullback into the triple trender. This, this here is an excellent uh, buying opportunity uh, if we think that this market is going up. And given this divergence here, the weakening selling pressure, the strengthening buying pressure, the trend indications from Radar 3 and Triple Trender, I do think this market has more upside than downside potential. Currently we're right here at this resistance level that, that is identified by this down trend line. So if we can see a nice breakout of this trend line, that'll be the next step up. Well, we're likely to see resistance at 97.81 and uh, each one of these resistance points is, is liable to show a little bit of resistance and slow the price down. But honestly, I have more enthusiasm as a bull in this market than as a bear. Now let's drill down to a 6500 share chart. You can see that 
the up move has a smooth upward sloping, nicely sloping trend line. And although there's not a lot of buying or selling strength shown in Radar 1 Fear Greed at this point, uh, we do see that Radar 3 trend strength is bullish. Uh, the triple trender is relatively bullish. In fact, we got a nice pullback 23 here late in the day on Friday, right there. Uh, note we are here against this resistance level at 96.7, and we're going to keep finding resistance all the way up if we indeed go up. So, my prognostication for crude oil is that it's meeting resistance, but we're identifying the trend more to the upside than the downside. And to round out the Scan Century report, let's take a look at a currency pair. Here's a strong one that I've identified. This is the pound yen, and it's clearly showing a lot of strength in the pound relative to the yen. The radar 3 trend strength is bullish. The triple trender is quite bullish. We got a nice pullback 23 about 10 days ago broke through this resistance line that was identified by the horizontal trend line. So I think this is a pretty strong market. If we look at the 180 minute chart, it's obviously been going sideways for a little while, but there's, there's more strength to the upside than downside. So I'm seeing an opportunity to buy a breakout of this consolidation. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this short video from Jan Arps Traders Toolbox. And I want to remind you that all of the examples provided today are for purely educational purposes. Jan Arps Traders Toolbox is not recommending that you buy nor sell anything. In fact, trading equities, forex currencies, futures, all of these can be very hazardous to your account. We're not licensed to recommend that you buy anything, but we are licensed to make some great technical analysis tools, and we hope that you find some use in them. So until further ado, may the trend be with you. <laughs>